गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू मॉड्यूल वी लेक्चर नंबर वन टुडे इन द सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मेमोरी कंसेप्ट ऑफ हायरजिकल मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन डिटेल्स सो बिफोर यू एंटर टू द टॉपिक वी मस्ट नो दैट वट इज मेमोरी सो मेमोरी इज इज नथिंग बट इट इज ए फिजिकल डिवाइस which is used to store program data instructions or information in computers okay so whatever data or instruction or information you want to store in your computer we can store by the help of memory okay so uh, so you can say in computing memory refer to physical device used to store program or data on temporary or permanent basis temporary or permanent basis means you can store the information as long as long you want in computer this is called what permanent but the data or information which store temporary means the data will be erased until the power supply is off to the computer and this memory are used in what computer or any electronics gadgets like a mobile um, calculators um, uh, laptop uh, in every in every devices we are using memory to store information and data get it so what is a memory in computing memory refers to the physical device used to store program or data on the temporary or permanent basis for use in a computer or other digital electronics devices so next we we'll discuss about the concept of hierarchical memory so come to classification of memory so there are three classification in computer memory one is internal processor memory main memory secondary or auxiliary memory so internal pro what do you mean by internal processor memory the memory which is present inside the processor is called internal processor memory it is a small it is a small high speed memory inside the processor okay next temporary storage of instruction and data so in internal processor memory the data can be stored in temporary manner and this example of internal example of internal processor memory are registers built in cache so register memory and built in cache memory are the example of internal processor memory and it is what high speed in nature and size is too less okay and it is what inside the processor so due to it is inside the processor the execution speed is high or accessing time is faster than other memories and its size is less okay next next come to main memory so main memory it is relatively large memory placed outside the processor so the memory it is main memory is what placed outside the processor and it is relatively large than which one relatively large than the internal processor memory or you can say cache memory and register memory so temporary store uh, so main memory also store data temporary instruction um, main memory store the data temporary and also in store the instruction temporarily for the operation of the processor so whenever uh, the processor want to execute any information it store the information in main memory in temporary basis it can be accessed directly and rapidly by the cpu so main memory is accessed by the cpu directly and rapidly and the example of main memory is what ram and rom are the example of main memory next come to secondary or auxiliary memory it is much large in capacity but slower than main memory so secondary or auxiliary memory size is much larger than the main memory but its speed of execution is slower than the main memory and data and whatever data and information you are storing in computer all are stored in which memory all information and data are stored in secondary or auxiliary memory so whenever we want to execute any information uh, which is stored in se uh, secondary or auxiliary memory that will be executed by the help of main memory and uh, so so it is called what permanent storage of data and instruction so whatever data instruction information you want to store in computer memory all are stored in secondary or auxiliary memory and the this kind of memory example is what hard disk your example of your secondary memory cd floppy magnetic tape these are the example of your secondary or auxiliary memory 
so this is classification of memory so there are three types of um, uh, memory one is internal processor memory main memory secondary or auxiliary memory so both internal processor memory and main memory are directly accessed by the cpu or processor but the secondary and auxiliary memory cannot be accessed by the cpu and processor and its size is less than the other memories okay so <coughs> and how it can be accessed now suppose whatever information normally whatever information you are one you want to um, save permanently then the information are stored in which memory secondary or auxiliary memory but if you want to do any operation on the sec uh, information which is stored in secondary or auxiliary memory that to that will be come to main memory and we are performing the operation because the uh, data the information which is stored in auxiliary or secondary memory cannot be accessed by the cpu directly okay get it matlab agar aap kuch bhi operation kuch bhi data permanently store karna chahte ho wo data aur information kahan pe store ho jata hai aapka secondary aur auxiliary memory mein store ho jata hai agar us data mein aap kuch bhi operation karna chahte ho वो डेटा कहाँ आ जाता है मेन मेमोरी में आ जाता है फिर आप अपना ऑपरेशन कर सकते हो क्योंकि मेन मेमोरी सेकेंडरी और ऑक्जिलरी मेमोरी कैन नॉट बी डायरेक्टली एक्सेस बाय द सीपीयू बट दिस मेमोरी आर एक्सेस बाय द सीपीयू डायरेक्टली सो सो वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन और वट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म एनी ऑपरेशन ऑन सेकेंडरी और ऑक्जिलरी मेमोरी द डेटा इज कम टू मैन मेमोरी सो ऑलरेडी एम रिटर्न हेयर दिस मेमोरी बहुत इंटरनल प्रोसेसर मेमोरी एंड मैन मेमोरी दिस मेमोरी आर डायरेक्टली एसेस बाई द सी पी यू और प्रोसेसर बट दिस मेमोरी इज नॉट डायरेक्टली एसेस बाय द सी पी यू सी पी यू एसेस दिस मेमोरी बाई द हेल्प ऑफ मैन मेमोरी और आई एम मॉड्यूल सो मैन मेमोरी के थ्रू इनको वो एक्सेस कर सकता है सो लुक दिस डायग्राम सपोज सी पी यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन विच स्टोर इन मैन मेमोरी और सी पी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म एनी ऑपरेशन एनी ऑपरेशन ऑन डेटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज स्टोर इन मैग्नेटिक ऑन डिस्क मेमोरी यू कैन एक्सेस द डेटा बाई द हेल्प ऑफ मैन मेमोरी और बाय द हेल्प ऑफ आई प्रोसेसर ही विल सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट इफ टू मैन मेमोरी एंड दैट मैन मेमोरी वॉन्ट टू आई प्रोसेसर एंड आई प्रोसेसर बिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दिस वन टू दिस वन एंड देन इट विल पास टू दिस वन एंड द डेटा एंड वट एवर ऑपरेशन वॉन्ट टू सी पी परफॉर्म वट एवर ऑपरेशन सी पी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म ही विल परफॉर्म द ऑपरेशन हेयर इन मैन मेमोरी सो नेक्स्ट कम टू मेमोरी हायर एरिची सो वट डिमन बाय मेमोरी हायर एरिची नथिंग बट इट इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ मेमोरी और गिविंग लेवलिंग टू द मेमोरी इज कॉल्ड वॉट मेमोरी हायर एरिची सो द टोटल मेमोरी कैपेसिटी ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर कैन बी विजुअलाइज बाय हायर एरिची ऑफ कंप्यूटर द मेमोरी हायर एरिची सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टोरेज डिवाइस कॉन्टेंट इन ए कंप्यूटर सिस्टम फ्रॉम स्लोअर ऑक्जिलरी मेमोरी टू फास्टर मेमोरी एंड टू स्मॉल स्मॉलर कैस मेमोरी ओके लुक लुक दिस एग्जाम्पल लुक दिस डायग्राम प्रॉपरली दिस इज द दिस इज द पिरामिड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ योर मेमोरी मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो so this is the this is the register memory which is nearest to cpu then after after register memory cache memory is there then main memory main memory also called what primary memory magnetic disk magnetic tape these are also called what auxiliary memory so when when we will go from bottom to top the speed and cost of memory is increased when we will move from the top to bottom or from downward the increasing order of storage size okay yahan par kya aapka cost and speed increase hota hai yahan par uska size increase hota hai look in obviously register memory is what nearest to cpu so so its execution speed is faster and uh, access time is also speed than other memory so its cost is much okay and cache memory both are what nearest to computer uh, nearest to cpu so it, their ss time is very speed uh, very speed or minimum ss time is there so the speed of execution is uh, so execution speed is high but its cost cost is much than these memories okay and main memory is uh, main memory cost 
uh, as compared to main memory cost is high than this magnetic disk and magnetic tabs okay and its execution speed is fast than this auxiliary memory okay if you will go through the size if you will discuss about the size then size will be increased from top to bottom so register is small size cache is small size main memory is small uh, large register size is small then cache memory size is larger than the register memory main memory size is larger than the register memory and cache memory similarly this auxiliary memory size is greater than this three memories so so this is all about your memory hierarchy so memory hierarchy is nothing but the arrangement of memory as per uh, assessing time or speed execution cost and arrangement in the arran uh, uh, arranging of sizes okay when we will move from bottom to top increasing order of ss time or speed or cost when we will move from top to bottom the size will be increased okay so next uh, auxiliary memory so what do you mean by auxiliary memory auxiliary memory already discussed about that it is the slowest memory its ss time is generally 1000 time that of the main memory hence it is at at the bottom of the hierarchy so auxiliary memory is what bottom of the bottom of the memory hierarchy so that its size is uh, size is huge than the other memory but its execution speed is 1000 time less than the main memory okay next uh, so you can say auxiliary memory is what large in size you can add a point here the auxiliary memory size is large than other memory size next come to main memory so what main memory the main memory also you can say what it is a, a central position main memory having the central position of uh, central position in your memory hierarchy so it occupy the central position because it is equipped to communicate directly with the cpu and with the auxiliary memory device through io processor so already i told you whatever information you are storing in your computer that is that are stored in magnetic disk or uh, magnetic disk or you can say auxiliary in auxiliary memory if you want to perform any operation in uh, data which is stored in auxiliary operation uh, auxiliary device then you can directly access the information so you have to take the help of main memory so cpu send the request if if cpu want to perform any operation on this uh, data then cpu go through the main memory or io processor so i have uh, main memory bring the data from io processor io processor bring the data from main memory so main uh, magnetic disk okay so look listen carefully already i told you that if you want to store any information in your computer the data are stored in magnetic disk or magnetic tab or you can say auxiliary memory permanently if you want to perform operation on this data then you have to access the data by the help of main memory because cpu cannot access the data directly okay that's why it is right what Uh, CPU and with the auxiliary memory device through I/O processor. When the program not present or reside in main memory is needed by CPU, there are both in in form auxiliary memory. Or I told you, if you have any data store, it will be stored in computer. It will be stored here. If you want to perform any operation in that data, it will not be able to access it directly. So, who will access it? It will access it through main memory. And how will it access it? It will access it through the main memory. And how will it access it? It will access it through the main memory. And how will it access it? It will access it through the main memory. And how will it access it? It will access it through the main memory. And how will it access it? It will access it through the main memory. And how will it access it? It will programs not currently needed in main memory are transferred into auxiliary memory to provide space in main memory for other program that are currently in use so look so when uh, look there is two program now p1 is finished his task in main memory so after finishing the p1 task so P1, main memory what main memory will do main memory will move their instruction to auxiliary memory or he will out the information of p1 to auxiliary memory because you want to free the space for which one program p2 
क्या होता है एक्चुअली अगर आप कुछ भी ऑपरेशन करते हो सपोज पी वन अपना ऑपरेशन कर लिया है तो वो अननेसरी इस मेन मेमोरी में क्यों पड़ा रहेगा तो बेटर है कि हम इसको यहाँ पर ट्रांसफ़र कर देंगे अगर इसको हम ट्रांसफ़र कर देंगे तो ये ये मेन मेमोरी फ्री हो जाएगा और इसको हम बेटर यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं और जब ये फ्री होता है बेट बेटरली वी कैन यूटिलाइज द मेन मेमोरी सो पी वन विल बी आउट टू ऑक्जिलर मेमोरी एंड पी टू विल बी इन टू मेन मेमोरी एंड ही कैन प्रोसेस और ही कैन एग्जीक्यूट हिज टास्क फ्रीली इन मेन मेमोरी ओके सो दिस इज दर्स इट इज कॉल्ड वर्ड प्रोग्राम नॉट करेंटली नीडेड इन मेन मेमोरी आर ट्रांसपोर्ट इन टू ऑक्जिलरी मेमोरी टू प्रोवाइड स्पेस इन मेन मेमोरी फॉर अदर प्रोग्राम दैट आर करेंटली इन यूज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट कम टू कैश मेमोरी सो वट इन माई कैश मेमोरी इट इज यूज टू स्टोर प्रोग्राम डेटा विच इज करेंटली बींग एग्जीक्यूटेड इन द सी पी यू सो और यूज टू स्टोर फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज डाटा सो वट एवर वेन वट एवर डेटा इज फ्रिक्वेंटली एसेस बाई द सी पी यू दैट विल बी स्टोर इन कैश मेमोरी और यू कैन से द डेटा विच इज करेंटली एग्जीक्यूटिंग बाई द सी पी यू द इन्फॉर्मेशन इज स्टोर इन द कैश मेमोरी सो कैश मेमोरी इज यूज टू होल्ड द करेंटली एग्जीक्यूट सो कैश मेमोरी इज यूज टू होल्ड द डेटा विच इज करेंटली एग्जीक्यूटेड बाई द सी पी यू ओके इट इज समाइम यूज टू इनक्रीज द स्पीड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग बाई मेकिंग करेंट प्रोग्राम एंड डेटा अवेलेबल टू सी पी यू एट ए रेपिड रेट सो इट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प टू बूस्ट ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर बाय होल्डिंग द फ्रिक्वेंटली और करेंटली एक्सेस बाई डेटा फ्रिक्वेंटली और करेंटली एक्सेस डेटा बाई सी पी यू इट साइज इज वेरी स्मॉल एंड कॉस्ट इज हाई सो ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू कैश मेमोरी साइज इज वेरी स्मॉल एंड कॉस्ट इज हाई ऑलरेडी वी लुड इन अवर हाई रेज सी पिरामिड हाई रेज सी पिरामिड लुक हियर कैश मेमोरी इज टॉप ऑफ टॉप इन पोजिशन सो ऑबियसली इट्स साइज इज लेस एंड कॉस्ट इज हाई एंड एस एस टाइम इज स्पीड ओके सो कैश मेमोरी इज वेरी कॉस्टली सो costly so we can't uh, install more cache memory in computer if you if you want to uh, execute uh, speed uh, your process if you want to execute if you want to boost up your execution process then we have to use the cache memory more efficiently okay so what is cache memory the cache memory is a internal memory which is nearest to processor and which is used to hold information or data which is currently being executed in cpu or used to store frequently used data get it so you can take example suppose i will ask you to bring two desk into front okay then what you will do you will bring the desk in your classroom which is you will uh, you will try to bring the desk which is present inside your classroom or you will go to bring the desk which is outside of your classroom or nearest to your classroom so what you will do obviously you will bring the desk which is present inside your classroom because it will take less time yes it will take less time if you will go for the uh, outside of the classroom then it will take a much uh, maximum time then the inside the classroom are you getting my point listen carefully if i will ask you to bring two desk into front or into or you can say uh, nearest to the blackboard if i will ask you to bring the desk um, go go and bring two desk nearest to the blackboard then what you will do you will go uh, you will uh, you will go for the uh, you'll, uh, what you will do you will obviously you will bring the desk which is inside your classroom you will not go for the outside the desk which is present outside the classroom if you will go outside the classroom then it will take much time yes or no similarly cache memory uh, cache memory is nearest to cpu so it will take less time to access the data which is present inside the cache memory get it so or you, uh, better aap ye samajh sakte ho ki cache memory uh, uh, 
गैस मेमोरी को हम यूज़ करते हैं क्योंकि ये आपका एग्जीक्यूशन स्पीड को बोस्टअप कर देता है जो डेटा और जो इन्फॉर्मेशन आप सी को फ्रिक्वेंटली और बार बार चाहिए वो कहाँ पर अवेलेबल हो जाता है कैश मेमोरी में हो जाता है लेकिन हम कैश मेमोरी ज़्यादा कंप्यूटर हमारे कैश मेमोरी का साइज़ बहुत छोटा है इसीलिए हम पूरा डेटा ला के कैश मेमोरी में रख नहीं सकते जो बार बार और फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज होता है उसको हम ला के कैश मेमोरी में डाल सकते हैं एडिट 